The F-35 has been a, a, a dream to fly. It's wonderful. I've never flown an aeroplane like this where you can control the motion of the aeroplane so precisely. I'm not sure we've even scratched the surface yet of what this airplane, when it's operating with other F-35, is going to be able to do. The F-35 Joint Strike Fighter is a technological marvel that is at the forefront of modern aviation. Combining stealth technology, multi-role capability, and even vertical takeoff and landing capabilities in some models, the F-35 is truly a testament to human innovation in aerospace. With that all out of the way, let's dive into the world of the Joint Strike Fighter. F-35 is an American single-seat, single-engine stealth multi-role fighter. The F-35 is intended to perform both air superiority and ground strike missions. It can also carry out electronic warfare and surveillance missions. The F-35 is designed by Lockheed Martin, and it started as the X-35 in the Joint Strike Fighter Program, where it competed with the Boeing X-32. The F-35 was at the time the X-35 ended up winning the competition and became the well-known F-35 Lightning II. The F-35, however, is not designed for one branch of the military, such as the F-18. As the name suggests, the Joint Strike Fighter is made from multiple branches of the military, as well as other countries. In the U.S., the branches of the military that use the F-35 are the Navy, the Marines, and the Air Force. Each branch has their own version of the plane. The F-35A is for the U.S. Air Force. This model is made for conventional takeoff and landing, or in other words, taking off and landing on a runway. While the other two variants can take off and land from a runway, and often do, they can also take off and land from different ships. The next version of the F-35 is the F-35B. The F-35B is a very unique plane in that it can take off and land vertically. The significance of this is that the F-35B can take off and land on small ships without the use of any sort of catapult launch system or tail hook and arresting cables that U.S. Navy planes use. The final version of the F-35 is the F-35C. The F-35C is the U.S. Navy version of the F-35 and is intended for takeoff and landing on an aircraft carrier. This means that it can hook up to a catapult on the carrier launch off and land back on the carrier using its tail hook to catch an arresting cable on the deck of the carrier. The cockpit of the F-35 is also very interesting. It has a large touchscreen panel that displays all of the information to the pilot, such as flight instruments. In addition to this, the F-35 does not have a heads-up display or HUD. Instead, all of the information that would be displayed in the HUD is displayed in the pilot's helmet-mounted display, or HMD. The helmet-mounted display is a screen that is put on a helmet that the every F-35 pilot wears. The interesting thing about this is that even other 5th gen fighters such as the F-22 have a normal HUD, so the F-35 not having a HUD is very unique. Since the F-35 is a stealth fighter, its weapons do not go on the outside of the plane like an F-18 would. This is because it would increase its ability to be picked up by radars with missiles or bombs hanging off the outside. Instead, the F-35 has two internal weapons bays that store weapons. These bays can be open and closed when you're going to use your weapons. In addition to this, the F-35 uses radar absorbent materials to make it more stealthy. The airframe of the F-35 is shaped by these materials. Overall, the F-35 is a revolutionary advancement in the world of stealth aircraft, and it is most certainly the future of air superiority for now.